In response to Mystic Lights, we have a what about if banging your head basically triggers pain, such as migraine and cluster headaches. So we need to go back to the ins and outs of this, because ultimately there's a lot here and we have to understand how it's constructed and how it's obviously reverse engineered in order to be able to get to the root cause and therefore cure or fix the lesson that it's actually showing us from where we're actually out of balance or alignment in ourselves. So when we look at the question, the question is, I've hit my head. So we've already got a physical element that's manifest itself. And because that physical element has manifest itself, we then have to work it up the scale. So we then go up to the emotional, which is the next stage up, and then obviously to the mental, and then obviously to the spiritual from there. But when we've got the bang in the head, we then have the resulting element, which would then potentially lead to like inflammation or concussion or the potential for swelling of some kind, which is just the adverse effects of something being released from the system. So once that then happens, you will then get the secondary effect, which is potentially the migraine or the cluster headache. So whereas they are technically physical in nature, they aren't layered or stacked on top of each other from the perspective of actually trying to work out what the issue is. So the body is trying to release, which is where the banging of the head comes in, because then your body can swell and therefore it's a form of release through the expansion, which then in itself is the swelling. So when we then go through and we have a look at the swelling side, that will look after itself. So we don't really need to worry about that. That's just the body's natural process of releasing. And then once the body releases, we then need to tie up all the other loose ends. So the next stage is to then have a look at the fact that we have this event, which has shown us that there's some work to be done. But then the trigger is not actually the banging of the head. The trigger is the build up or what actually happened in the run up to banging the head. Because you're looking at stepping back and having a look at the individual elements that you then get as a result of that event, which is then subsequently the headache and the migraine. So the headache itself will just be self-criticism or an invalidation of the self. And obviously, if you have a look at some of my other videos, I can go into where we get these from and who's kind of educated us or taught us how we interact with ourselves over time. And then we go the stage further, which is the cluster headaches and into migraines. And the migraine is actually a resistance to the flow of life. So when we resist the flow of life, we're then causing ourselves a problem because we're backing up into the system and therefore we're out of alignment and out of balance. And because we've got that resistance to the flow of life, and we've then got a subsequent fear of being driven, then what we do is we create adversely a problem that then is the banging of the head in order for us to then not be driven because we have to take time out and then obviously look after ourselves and then have a bit of self-recovery. But obviously recovery is just covering up the fact that what we're being presented with is not actually being dealt with. So we're just covering over it again, rather than using the symptom as the mechanism to then start the healing. So we've got different areas there. And then the final section is the pain element. But pain is the guidance system. And because pain is the guidance system, we need to follow it and then we need to sit with it. And then we need to explore what comes up from a mental and an emotional perspective in order to then get the pieces to the puzzle in order to then start trying to connect all the root cause therapy work that then needs to be done in order for ourselves to then get back to the alignment that we wish to be at, that we should have always been at had we not been conditioned in the first place. So hopefully that answers the question and then we can get rid of that and grow, start the process, development, and then start the next chapter, which then means that we're doing new lessons and new learning rather than staying consistent with just one set of learning because we can't actually work ourselves out of this loop. But as always, until next time, trust the process and it's bye for now.